a loop recorder is specifically invented to make the diagnosis in people who are not having frequent symptoms. And so it's a tiny little device. These days it's very small. It's like the size of my pinky and it has no wires. And we actually put it underneath your skin. It's a very minor procedure. Yes, 20 years ago when I first came out of training, they were much bigger. They were almost like mini pacemakers and only cardiac electrophysiologists could put them in because we had to surgically implant them almost like a pacemaker. But nowadays they become so small that even non-cardiac electrophysiologists, regular cardiologists can put them in even in the office in a 10, 15 minute visit, just using local numbing medicine. No actual sedation is needed. So you just make a little puncture, slip the little device in, almost like putting something underneath your pet skin, except this doesn't ID you. It actually is a mini little computer and it monitors your heart rhythm and records it for up to three to four years. Literally, the battery in this tiny little thing actually lasts three to four years. And if you have any episodes, if it truly is AFib, it'll record it, or you have a handheld monitor device that you can tell it to record, and then we can wirelessly download that information from the device and actually see what's going on and actually get rhythm strips.